This is where we teach. For about the last 30 years, researchers have been studying how students learn science in relatively large classrooms just like this one. This video summarizes what we've been doing here to introduce some of those research findings into our introductory geology classroom. Specifically, we want to talk to you a little bit about flipping the class. The way we have taught students in college classes has remained relatively consistent over time, regardless of whether we're using a chalkboard, whiteboard, or PowerPoint. Most lessons revolve around the delivery of information, but are we delivering this information in the most effective way to help students learn? Research tells us that students learn better when they have opportunities to actively monitor their understanding with a variety of activities during class. And that these activities should include questions that require the use of higher order thinking skills. Further, the research reminds us that knowledge is socially constructed and people learn best in supportive social settings such as small collaborative groups. Classes that support these strategies are known as active learning environments. Research shows that active learning improves student performance. For example, researchers analyzed dozens of studies of student learning in science, math, and engineering courses and found that active learning strategies reduce attrition. It turns out that fewer students earn Ds and Fs or withdraw from the classes when instructors teach this way. Further, comparison with students in traditional lecture classes shows that active learning can improve average exam scores by more than half a letter grade. Think about the challenge of teaching any introductory college class. Students need to learn the basic information, the vocabulary of the discipline. In geology, that might include knowing the difference between a rock and a mineral and describing the characteristics of common examples of each category. But instructors don't want their class to be just a big memory test where the best student is the one who's memorized the most facts. Instead, we want to build in this basic information to create a conceptual framework that allows students to complete more sophisticated tasks, such as interpreting the geologic history of a region on the basis of its rocks and minerals. These are the types of tasks that are best addressed using active learning strategies. But changing the way you teach to incorporate active learning may mean spending less time delivering some of the course content. That makes some instructors apprehensive that they aren't covering enough information from their beefy textbooks. One way to address this is to adopt a flipped classroom approach, which shifts some responsibility for mastering basic content outside of the classroom and onto the student. For example, in our physical geology course, we present some of the course content online before class. Students watch a brief video that lasts for around six minutes. The video includes learning objectives, some learning activities, and ends with a reflection exercise. After watching the video, students answer some related low-stakes quiz questions. Then, when students come to class, we check that they've learned the key concepts by asking a series of related questions and filling in any gaps in their comprehension with a brief lesson. Even though the video is relatively short, it's faster paced than a typical lecture, so it saves about double or triple the amount of class time, roughly 10 to 20 minutes. For example, we used to spend much of our lecture on igneous rocks introducing students to the different rock types and how they were classified. It turns out that this isn't a complicated idea and that most students can learn it effectively on their own by watching a video. This then frees up a much bigger chunk of class time to spend discussing the characteristics of partial melting processes, a much more difficult concept for most students to grasp and one that would continue into the next day's lesson before we flip the class. We've created a series of short videos on a range of topics appropriate for introductory geology classes. You can find them on our YouTube channel. We kept them all around six minutes because some of the early research on the use of videos suggests that students start to become disengaged with video content if they last longer. You might ask, why bother making videos? Why not just have the students read the textbook? Well, we'd read some research in other disciplines that suggested that students learn more effectively by watching video, so we wanted to see if that was true for geology topics. We had two groups of students either watch a video or read an equivalent section of a popular textbook. Both groups of students took the same pre-post test. They showed no significant difference in their score on the pre-test, but the students who had watched the video scored higher on the post-test. 
Scientists who've been studying this phenomenon longer than us attribute this effect to dual channel processing that occurs when we watch a video. They get both an auditory and visual signal to process, and this results in greater learning. So we interviewed students to find out what they thought of using text versus videos to help them learn. What we found is that most students are going online to look for videos. They also told us that the textbook has a hard time showing how something moves, whereas with a video they get this dynamic progressive illustration instead of the static image that they would find in their textbook to show movement. They also told us that when they read the text, sometimes they have a hard time focusing on what the key material is or what's most important. Whereas with a video, they're able to have an expert almost guide them through the content, telling them this is what's important, this is what you need to focus on, and these are the learning objectives for today. So that brings us to the end of this brief introduction to flipping a geology class. A few key points. Students learn best when they do things in class. Instructors may struggle to find time for these student activities. One way around that is to flip your class by adding pre-class assignments such as the videos described here. This can free up to 10 to 20 minutes of class time for active learning. Remember, it's not about the videos, it's about what happens in class. Thanks for watching, and oh, one more thing. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Jennifer. And we're, we're Geoscience, Geoscience Videos. videos.